So what you're looking at here, this is the biceps tendon, and it looks like, as you see, the tendon right at the very top to the right, looks like somebody took an ax and just chopped it right in half. There's probably only about 10 to 15% of this tendon still attached to the bone, if that, and so it's completely ripped off. That's your subscap, and those little things dangling right there should be the MGL, the major stabilizer of the shoulder. Um, it's gone. The tendon of the subscap is completely destroyed. You can see where pieces of it that attach to the bone are pulled off and you can't see any normal fiber pattern. Labrum's torn. That's the rest of your MGL there, the main stabilizing ligament just floating. Um, now we're coming to the joint capsule, which doesn't look like a capsule. It should look like a smooth, rubber, you know, kind of descended rubber band or, or rubber balloon. And now you can see this severe, severe inflammation in the back portion of the joint. And look at the cartilage on the round surface. That's the humeral head. It's all fibrillated. It's like craters on the moon. It's, it's all deteriorated. This is probably from chronic wear and tear as well as micro instability from the medial shoulder syndrome. And uh, so without a doubt, the worst shoulder I've ever seen in a border collie in my entire life. And um, so from, from top to bottom, front to back, um, there was pathology everywhere. I'm not quite sure what was keeping this shoulder joint in the socket. Um, we work our way back up again. There's the capsule. Look at the cartilage above here in a second. You're going to see where the top portion from big bone spurs were catching and grinding on the back portion of the humeral head. So the ball and socket were catching against each other and just wearing and tearing. Right there, you can see the abnormal contact again from, from chronic breakdown of the shoulder. There's your ligament again that's gone, your tendon that's gone, front portion of the ligament that's gone. And we work our way back uh, to the capsule. We really shouldn't be able to see all those areas of the subscap because there's usually capsule and MGL there, but it's, it's completely destroyed and, and disintegrated. Um, working our way back anteriorly, there's our biceps again, and just completely ripped off the bone. So it's not functional. It's like getting your hair pulled. Every time you take a step, it's just pulling on the nerve endings and the little bit of tissue that's still attached. So completely non-functional shoulder.